Hi, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to another exciting episode of Fast Cabling. Today, we are delving into the fascinating world of SFP transceivers and unlocking the secret behind the seamless data transmission. And in an age where data flows faster than ever, understanding SFP transceiver is the key. And whether you are seeking enhanced efficiency, improved performance, or a scalable solution, we've had you covered. And also, you can take the first step towards success today by clicking the link through the description box below and explore our comprehensive solution page to learn more and get started on the path to a brighter future. In the world of networking, SFP transceiver holds significant importance. These compact and versatile devices are essential components for modern data transfer needs. As technology continues to advance at a rapid pace, there is an ever-increasing demand for faster and more reliable data transmission. And this growth is driven by various factors such as the rise of cloud computing, the Internet of Things, and high-definition multimedia streaming. SFP Transceiver is able to meet this escalating data transfer requirement, enabling seamless communication and data exchange in today's interconnected world. SFP transceivers, short for small form factor pluggable transceivers, they come in various types such as SFP, SFP+, QSFP, QSFP Plus and more. These transceivers enable efficient data transmission by seamlessly converting optical and electrical signals. Key components of SFP transceivers include the transmitter, receiver, and electronics. The transmitter sends data in optical form, which is then received and converted back to electrical signal by the receiver. And this optical-electrical interface is a fundamental part of their functionality, allowing data to be transmitted over long distances. SFP transceivers offer a host of benefits that make them invaluable in the world of networking. They excel in high-speed data transfer, ensuring swift and efficient communication. Their hot-swappable nature and easy installation simplifies maintenance and upgrades. Moreover, they are compatible with a wide range of equipment, enhancing their facility. SFP transceivers also stand out for their space and power efficiency, making them an economical choice. These transceivers find common application across various domains. In data center, they facilitate server connectivity, ensuring seamless operation. In telecommunication, they enable long-distance fiber connection, enhancing network reach. Additionally, SFP transceiver play a vital role in connecting switches, routers, and other networking devices, ensuring smooth data flow. Their integration into enterprise network supports seamless expansion, adapting to evolving business needs. And when selecting the appropriate SFP transceiver for your networking needs, several crucial factors come into play. Firstly, it is essential to consider the required data rate, the distance over which data must be transmitted, and the specific wavelength needed for your application. Secondly, you must determine whether your network infrastructure employs single mode or multimode fiber, as this dictates the types of transceiver that will be compatible. Finally, ensure that the chosen SFP transceiver align with the specification of your networking equipment, guarantee seamless integration and optimal performance. So soon we'll do the connection together, but first let me introduce you to some of our SFP transceiver. This one right here is the BD SFP fiber modules. The primary goal of the transmitter enable the bandwidth of the 1.25G in order to meet the increasing demand of Ethernet fiber solution. And the deployment distance can be extended to a maximum of 20 kilometers using an LC connector single mode fiber optic cable. And this is where it connects with the fiber optic cable. And here we have another pair. 
This is actually the multi-mode SFB fiber module. It enables the bandwidth of 1.25 G, and the deployment distance can be extended to up to 550 meters using LC multi-mode fiber optic cable. And you can see, I just have to take it out right here. Last but not least, we have this 10G SFP Plus Fiber Modules. It enables the bandwidth of 10G, and the deployment distance can be extended to a maximum of 10 kilometers using LC single mode fiber optic cable. So it's actually the same as the first one, but this can allow 10G bandwidth. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So here we have the router to provide the main network data. And I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it with our media converter. Since we cannot plug in the fiber optic cable directly to the router, that's why we'll need this fiber media converter to convert the electrical signal into fiber optical signal. This is where we connect with the router. And let's power it up. This is our BDSFP transceiver, and we're going to insert it over here to the fiber slot. And it's where we're connect, going to connect with the fiber optic cable. Today, we're using this four-string pre-made LC connector, single-mode fiber optic cable. Each string has the letter on it. So we are using string A, and let's plug it in here. I already took out the cap, so just plug in right away. This is 300 meters fiber optic cable. Coming over this side, we are going to do the exact same thing using the SFP transceiver. Find string A, make sure you match the right one. Plug it into the transceiver and to the fiber slot. Power it up. We are going to connect it with a wireless SS point. Plug it in here and power it up. So now the whole connection is done. It's pretty simple, right? And if you want to achieve a high bandwidth connection, now we are going to switch things up. So now, as you can see, I already changed my devices. This is a situation where you need multiple devices and you need higher bandwidth. So over this side, we have the A port unmanaged switch. We are going to do the connection from here. Let's use a short patch cord to connect our router to provide the main network to our switch here. Just plug in any of the port. And we're using this 10G SFP transceiver because this is actually a 10G fiber slot. Plug it in here using the same four string fiber optic cable, again using string A. Let's connect it here. So this side is done. All the way to here, over this side we have our PoE switch. This PoE switch from port 1 to 4 can provide BD standard which is 60 watts of output power. This is the 10G SFP slot. We are going to insert the 10G SFP transceiver, again using string A. Since this switch can utilize PoE technology, so we don't need any power supply, just plug in the Ethernet cable. You can see our Rattles SS point is already getting power and data at the same time. So the connection is done. So here are some more additional tips. Maintaining clean and dust-free transceiver is vital for ensuring their optimal performance and longevity. Dust and debris can obstruct the optical components, leading to signal degradation and reduced efficiency. Regular monitoring and troubleshooting are essential practices to address any issue promptly and maintain peak performance. Also looking ahead, the future of SFP technology holds exciting possibilities. Emerging technologies like 10G or even 400G and beyond promise significant advancement in data speed and efficiency. Staying attuned to this trend is crucial for business and industries seeking to remain competitive and meet the ever-growing demand of modern communication.
So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching us, and I'll see you in the next video.